Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for, for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel in case you miss any of these meetings. Today, we'll be discussing Nextdoor. Nextdoor is a place for your local community to come together and discuss different things that are happening around your neighborhood. So Nextdoor allows you to basically see different kinds of bulletins uh, from different uh, entities, such as um, my local city uh, government or council posting on Nextdoor or just people in my neighborhood who are looking to either sell something, tell people about something, or who people uh, who are giving out things for free. So here we can see my Nextdoor page. We can see that I have a bunch of different things. Um, we can see that uh, people are having discussions. We can see that people are selling things. Um, and Nextdoor allows people to come, kind of come together and um, discuss local topics that are happening, local changes that they're seeing, any issues that they're having in their local communities, or anything like of that nature. So the way that Nextdoor works is when you sign up, you'll input the neighborhood that you live in, um, you'll input your uh, basic information, create a profile for yourself, and then specify what you want to see on your page. We also have the Discover tab where you can go around and you can see other neighborhoods and we can see their next door, um, their next door, uh, their neighborhoods and see what they're posting in their next door. Um, but in order to get into a neighborhood, you do have to be approved. Um, so the way that this works is you just have to kind of prove that you live there because, of course, looking into somebody else's neighborhood is kind of weird um, unless it's not public. Um, other than that, there's nothing really else um, that needs to happen when you first sign up um, for the Nextdoor account. We can also see the listings for different things, such as either free or things that you can possibly buy. So here we can see different things like there's free landscape rock, there's a free wall AC unit, there's a wig, there's earrings uh, that you can pay for. These are local people in my community that are selling these things to um, other people in their community um, in order to get them out, uh, get them out and um, not have to worry about the, their things cluttering up. We can also see uh, that I can post a listing. So I can say, okay, here's something that I'm either selling. Here's something that I'm giving away. I can put a title. I can describe the item. I can select where I want to give, where, gen what location I want to give the item, the pricing. And then as well, we can also see um, whether or not we donate to my local school. Um, so let's get rid of that real fast. And then we can also buy good, we can also get the good for free, or we can get the good discounted. So going back here, we have as well, um, we have as well different types of notifications. So the notifications will notify you about anything that is happening happening in your local area. Like typically, since I li live near an amusement park, there are lots of fireworks going off, which people mistake as gunshots. Um, so typically around eight o'clock at night, lots of people like to come on next door and they like to say, did you hear those gunshots? When in reality, it's just a local amusement park firing off fireworks for their local show, um, which is very funny to read because a lot of people get paranoid about it. And then the city comes in and says, it was just a local amusement park, no need to worry. This will happen every night um, and things of that nature. We also have messages. So if you're trying to message somebody through Nextdoor, this is where you do it. Typically, you don't wanna give your information out to strangers, such as your phone number, your email, your home address, other things of that nature. So here through Nextdoor, they kind of create a safe place to come together and input those messages and talk to each other. We can also see neighbors, which is um, the ability to, oops. we can also invite different kinds of neighbors. Um, so you can invite people like, um, you can invite people like your roommate. Say you're staying with your roommate and your roommate wants to be on next door with you. Um, you can invite them, you can send them the link and then they can join your neighborhood and they can be a part of the neighborhood. So all these different bulletins, you can like, you can comment, you can share, just like you could on Instagram. Um, there are other features as well, like people posting photos. You can, of course, like, comment, share. 
and then as well, uh, once again, we have that messaging feature to kind of stay safe. So if I wanted to message this person, I could click on their uh, profile and then I could go to message. I can see what uh, groups they're a part of, what they've posted, and then I can get in contact uh, with them through that function. People also on Nextdoor like to host different types of gatherings. Um, so if we, uh, so if you were interested in maybe coming together for the holidays and having a Christmas dinner with somebody um, who else who also might be alone on Christmas, this is your way to do it. Um, Next storage provides kind of like a very easy way for people to come together, for people to have um, people to have that uh, enjoyment, and then also for people to see what other people posted. So here we have a nice firework show that, was, that recently happened. Um, of course, this was an illegal firework show, but it was nice to see and people have shared it and then people can comment on it and then people can express their outrage and other things like that. Um, we can also see there's different kinds of deals that are posted by next door. Um, we can host uh, local businesses. So this basically means if you own a local business, you can promote yourself on Nextdoor and people will see it in your local community and then show up. We can also see the profile tab where I can look at my business page or I can leave or I can change my settings and I can move around to different neighborhoods um, as I see fit um, for whenever I move. Uh, so other than that, I have nothing else to add with Nextdoor. It's fairly straightforward, fairly simple, and it's a great way for people to come together and learn more about their neighborhood. So once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel in case you missed any of these meetings. Thank you so much for watching.